A California skunk family that had taken up residence under someone's house was relocated somewhere with fewer humans. The mother and her seven babies, called kittens, went through the entire procedure without causing a single stink. Skunks prefer to avoid spraying if at all possible. They only have about five or six shots of spray before they have to reload the tanks. It takes about 10 days for them to refill the glands near their anus, where the strong-smelling liquid is stored. That's 10 days they wouldn't have spray to defend from predators. The smelly compounds in a skunk's spray are called thiols. The name is derived from Greek and means sulfur. These compounds are often mixed with natural gas, which is typically odorless, to help humans detect a gas leak, which smells like rotten eggs. An 18th century description of the skunk went as follows. Had I a hundred tongues, I should think them all insufficient to convey an adequate idea of the stench. Europe may be congratulated upon her good fortune in being unacquainted with this cursed beast. It's worth mentioning skunks were often called polecats due to their similar appearance to European animals bearing the same name. Skunk cabbage and skunk weed are two types of foul-smelling plants that got their name from the foul-smelling skunk. The name skunk comes from an Algonquin word meaning something like the fox who urinates. Even some skunk scientific names allude to their stinky smell. Mephitis, a skunk genus name, means a putrid smell from the earth. It comes from the name of a goddess who personified the offensive gases emitted from swamps and volcanoes. Skunks can spray their unpleasant fluid more than 10 feet. That's even further than their eyes can see. If you ever encounter a skunk in the wild, remain motionless and let the skunk be on its way. Or back away slowly so it doesn't feel threatened. Some of the largest skunks in the world are colloquially known as rooter skunks for their behavior of uprooting and overturning objects embedded in the ground. These skunks, also known as the American hognose skunk, have an all-white back with no black stripes or spots. Like the American hognose skunk, hooded skunks also appear with an all-white back. But that's only one variety. They can also appear entirely black. They get their common name from the long fur around their neck. It makes them look like they have a hood. The scientific name for hognose skunks comes from one of the Aztec words that meant skunk. These skunks get their common name, hognose, from their distinct pink noses. You've also probably heard that skunks are closely related to stink badgers, can climb trees, and are able to smell their own stink. But if you weren't aware of these facts, you can learn all about them and more in our full skunk episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.